ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Savona Yadava, in which, well, let me tell you what happened once we get into the game, but first, look, right in the middle, this taller than average woman compared to the one standing next to me, that is our new and first Samrajni of the Savona Yadava. Samrajni is Empress. Yes, she's born a giant and a genius. So this will lead to some, oh, interesting things regarding her rule in the Deccan Empire. That will also continue its expansion northeastward before we turn west to we'll head to Rajasthan. But again, we may be getting a little bit ahead of ourselves here, but but she's a military genius as far as education is concerned. So let us meet. Samrajni Saibai. The Empire has expanded big time once again. Thanks to the previous ruler who... Um... Uh, Tokajirao. He committed suicide. Yes. He committed suicide. Yeah, he had a, well, well, let's just say dynastic quarrel was just maddening during the early years of the Deccan Empire, but one would think we would begin to lose hope and prestige and renown, but, but on our side by, she may change all that. She's a genius, giant, and a brilliant strategist. As she is vengeful, arrogant, and fickle, which doesn't sound like a good person to those standards, but these are not virtues nor um, sins. It's just in the middle. Although a fickle, arrogant, vengeful warrior sounds more of a warrior type, a more warlike persona of our first Samaraji. But there's much work to do, such as we gotta fight against Sandra and Magad to uh, take back those lands, which I'm sure we will if we can, you know, understand the situation here. First things first, um, give me my crown. That's all I need. Even though it's kind of odd that it says that the clothes are default, even though this is what a default uh, Samrajni clothing would look like. But, knowing that she's a warrior type, I think she would just stick with the armor on. And the hair is fine, too. And also, not anything about her? She's a homosexual. I don't think our past, um, rulers of, uh, Maharashtra, we can look back on its history. Did any of our... Heterosexual, heterosexual. Yeah, she's the first homosexual ruler of the dynasty's history. Which one I think if I were to get married now, does that mean it lessens the chances of fertility or just attraction opinion? But then again, I'm in no rush to be having children. I still got one other sibling who is, well, denounced and disinherited. And I feel bad for him. Plus, he's my brother. Father abused you, so. I mean, I could help, you know, restore you. And plus, since we're family, I, you, I'm gonna need you to get me a weak hook on. I'm gonna get a weak hook on you. You know, for keeps. So, again. Father and grandfather, for some reason, they didn't like you, but I do. I'm just righting the wrong that my uh, forebears have created. Seventeen years old, and she'll be turning eighteen this year. She's not picked up a perk yet. But um, knowing her, that she likes to fight with kinds of prowess, so once again, 
chivalry focus will be the main thing. And due to her being a genius, a brilliant strategist, it'll be every 23 months. In basically nearly two years, she will pick up a perk, unless events pop up for more experience. So she'll be getting them in a hurry. Although the first book I should pick up is just to reduce cash value before we start to really go down this way. You know, every time I do these martial based characters, I never pick Overseer. I mean, it has its benefits. But I believe that's more for the defensive um, stance on things. Right. Now our uh, council is empty and my um, Maraj Puruhit does not endorse me, which he's my uncle. I understand, short reign. I was about to say Ujjaini. Oh, it's under a Vaishnavite control. Well, with that on the right face, that's just courtier and guest opinion plus five and plus one stewardship for all vice novices like myself. Which again will be the main um, Hindu religion, but we do not have Kanchipuram because you Buddhist. Yes, you may not like my predecessor, but. We'll put together a council soon. You may get lucky if you get in, and if not, then, well, let's see. Oh, yeah, I know you lot, especially the zealous kind. I mean, she will never um, like me, but it's plus five for a giant. Really? Vass open, yeah. Apparently the vassals do respect me as a giant. Knowing that I'm first of the kind, at least in this dynasty. I'm gonna need a spy master I can trust, and also we gotta put a stop to whatever I'm gonna do. You may not like it, but you're the only one who's competent enough to try to get the vassals to on our side. A marshal, well, you're more qualified. And yes, uh, you don't like witches because the Mahayana faith of yours. No, they're of it. They're of Adafe. They don't particularly like it. Because witchcraft is shunned. And to be the steward. Look at this man. Theologian, herbalist, scholar. He's got all learning skills. But he's not going to be around for long, so I hope he doesn't cause too much trouble. And also religiously protected on the contract. Cannot demand vassal. Ah, Jayan. I was about to tell you a Buddhist. No, he's Jayan. Oh, don't forget, he's also a wise man. Who's your successor? <laughs> At least a much nicer guy, so... You're not gonna get it. I'd rather have the gardener to be my steward. Plus we need all those taxes. And a spy master is definitely not gonna be somebody who wants it. Somebody I can trust wholeheartedly. But unfortunately, there's not a lot of it, so... She's living healthy. No, oh, there are still uh, some ones out there that are just as good in their job. So just temporarily, all right? Disrupt any scheme that comes my way. And I'm in no rush in getting a spouse for myself. The skills I have are just good enough. I can wait about at least, well, knowing
destroyed out of our empire and we partitioned the realm, well, realm from within. I'm in no rush of having more children. So once I bring him back and he be back in an inheritance, he should be the heir. He should get married. I'll get married later. I'm more interested in being a warrior and an expansionist of this area before we go further northeast to Bengal territory and maybe go all the way up to even um even in uh where the hell is it Magad yeah the Potli Putch more interested in going up there I only have two friends one of which is the heir of the Labakanav Raj. Which, interestingly, once a, um, once he takes over, whenever he takes over, then um, I'm going to make him convert to uh, Hinduism. Despite the fact that I'm homosexual, you know you can still, um, Where's the Tamil man? Can still seduce, but... Oh, um, not attracted to men, doesn't like me? Okay, I get to understand the not liking part, but... Dislikes vengeful. Damn! Okay, seduction's not the way then, but the problem is, he's gonna be around a while. Because everybody's into medicine these days. So yeah, I'm gonna be in a bit of a heap of trouble. So prepare to make a defense. And if he needs to get married, it has to be at least someone from within the realm just to prevent the factions from forming. So there's this bit. And this other one. That's also concerning. And also not endorsed, so I can replace her with somebody more competent, but still they wouldn't still fully uh, back me. What's your learning skill? Ten down. Aha! I can make him my my Raj forehead, and he'll endorse me immediately. Even though this would still technically disinherit him to make him the, uh, the realm priest. <laughs> I'll let you out of here very soon. Welcome back to the land of the living, brother. Not gonna educate you. What's all that? You do. Just give him the learning skill. Also, let us host the Grand Rite to a tradition and determine my bhakti. Bhakti can be likened to feelings of fondness, devotion, and worship, but not least fully encompass the concept. By devoting myself to an avatar and divinity, I cutting myself to them in body and soul. Vaishnavism focuses on the veneration of the various incarnations of Vishnu, the preserver of these aspects. One must speak to me more than the others. There's got to be something for um, increased vassal opinion. For once, Jagannath, Lord of the Universe, that's plus two martial and controlled territory defender advantage because there might be some trouble in here and we want to be prepared for it. Plus she's into this sort of thing. She's a, she's a warrior and she's going to have a lot of advantage in the future. 
No, 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 not this screen. Um, is there somebody within the realm that is a homosexual or bisexual just like me because I want to romance somebody and uh, befriend them and whatnot? Soulmate, there you go. That's what you're looking for. Has to be an adult. Not a ruler. Female. Unmarried. Okay. Age, obviously. The first thing I see, regardless of skill. There's one. If only it was a Hindu. Oh wow, she's pretty. And has a martial education just like me, except way, way less. She's a Vaishnavite Marathi. Even though a couple of years older than me, but still. No? What's wrong? Ah, okay. Um. Just whistling. I mean, I prefer to romance, not seduce. I think there's chances to increase. You, you have all that time in the world. So at least try to get that started. Time has come to let my feelings towards um, um Ambika by. Ambika by. Yeah. I'll be no. I want her to remember this for the rest of her life. I secretly plant a letter in her chambers. My declaration of, of love for Ambika's eyes only. No one else matters. I pour my heart out, page after page. My feelings are uh, growing as I finally put them into words. The ink has barely dried as I s set up her chambers. I gently place the scroll in her bolster. Will she lay here tonight, dreaming of me? The waiting is unbearable. The thought of rejection makes me sick to my stomach. When her reply arrives, I tear the seal of shaking hands. While well, I cannot encourage you, my lead John, most grateful for your kind words. By the way, uh, she uh, lives over there. She won't resist my charms for long, even though it's going to take a long time. But hey, since you got a spy master, you can always murder somebody that you disagree with. Especially when it comes to zealous people. Some more better than others. Not one soul accepted my invitation. They did not deserve the blessings of Kali. They will know her fury. Damn. Oh, brother, now that you're released, um... Now you will be my uh, Maharaj Purohit. Once you are educated this coming September, I'm sure you'll be better than my uncle. Which he isn't going to be doing much these days. I mean, he could be re-inherited if he wishes to. Even though my heir is actually my cousin. Now as my... Now I'm the dynasty head, I would like to, um... Well, restore your heritage and forgive you, but... How much does that cost for me now? 75, fair. And you are the new heir. And, uh, forgiveness. Uh, okay, so that's 100 renown total, as opposed to 150 just for disinheriting one person. And of course, that gives me a little bit of stress because I'm vengeful, but I should go hunting. Wouldn't worry about it too much. There, your honor is restored.
Meanwhile, I'm gonna go hunting. Because you can need some prestige. Foragers. The woods is truly the mental of the poor. Let the heart please and panic for foraging peasants. I feel that my um, patience is wearing uh, thin. So this is where I'm hunting. Over here. This area. Surely there must be some better things to do in um, not Dora Smudra than picking roots and mushrooms. Guards drive the rabble out of my hunting grounds. Do anything for fame. do is just raise a little bit more money then I'll go on a pilgrimage haven't seen any of them causing trouble yet uh, as of late all my visits uh, to um, Ambikabai have been ruined by Dhammapati Ramaswamy of Baman. he falls everywhere like a lost puppy his attempts to charm the lady are laughable yet I fear his persistence will be rewarded Hey, she's my pretty girl, Ramaswamy. Who do you think you are? A bold blackguard. I'm a much better fighter than he is. Or, we could do something that is... In a fortunate case of food poison, we didn't check. I will, will get it on 80%. Nothing compares to the satisfaction of a perfectly executed plan. No one noticed as I poured the poison in Ramaswamy's cup, and a spectacle that all will not be forgotten anytime soon. He puked all over her dress, and it was immensely grateful when he swooped in to save her from the mess. She'll never look his way again. Of course, you've got to have this. This is a must-have. Unless, you know, you want to be a bit of a seducer, which, you know, removes attraction penalties and seduction schemes. That's one thing. What about romance? Let me see. Because I don't typically do seducer as much as I'd rather be a schemer. Interesting. Romancer and seducer. Even though I'm not really the lusty type, so... And also, or just fabricate hooks, which is something that I usually do. Even though, typically, this never ends well for me. When we try to get a hook at somebody, so... No. Let me see. Should I start this route, which will work our way down if I ever really get into the temptation focus or any that kind of bowl? <laughs> is it less attractive to be giant? Yes, it is. Okay, then. We'll start this, then. Even though I don't expect to have much in the way of children, anyhow. Ah, Rajkuma. You've uh, grown up and you've become a Shobir. Well, you didn't get enough time for that sort of education. But I'm going to make you my new uh, Maharaj Puru. Never mind. Restore the house member inheritance. He understands now. And once that short rain penalty, we'll, we're good now. Okay, never mind. But still, I'm going to get you married. That's another thing that I had planned for you anyhow. 
particularly in the lines of one of the big countries. Like Mawa. Which is ruled by... Oh, let me see who you're married to. Heir to the kingdom of Rajputana. Already has children. Huh. Or somebody from within the realm. Like this one. This one's the biggest and probably going to be the troublemaker. I mean, we haven't seen any of the factions form, so just wait. Just save your money to go to the pilgrimage before we do anything else. And success chance of romance is not good, so I'm waiting for more events to come. Oh, hey, with the show rate ups, my attraction opinion a uh, little bit. So it's plus five after you negate the giant thing. The giant attraction. Familiar Ken saying. Oh, you can't kill him because of his entry. Well, it was an old person, anyhow. Not good. No. Can't trust it. Orissa. Yeah. How much shall I give you? Is there any vessels you need to... No? You got all the land that you need. This is precarious. If only we're all equal. When I said we Vashnavites gotta stick together. If I get assassinated, you take over. You know, you would be a little bit underwhelming, but you're an intelligent man. Allegedly. How long? Three years. enough money to send her a gift like she needs it if I was to expand somewhere it would likely be up there you got a claim well that's your only claim I mean I can land you but what's good is, but what good of it is in there? Unless it'll be separated. Shikarji. Wait a minute, Shikarji? That name sounds familiar. Isn't that a... Yeah, a Jayan holy site. Well, what do you know? placed in Loch Noor, oddly enough. As of late, all my visits have been ruined by Kalyana Chandra, the son and heir of Dr. Govind Pala of Harakana. Harakana. This again. Can I get another? Well, I don't know about that. I'll probably not get so lucky this time. 
As it turns out, it's a form of service I gave a curse for. He caught me red hair when I tried to poison his cup and he ratted me out on our team. I will have my vengeance. Trust my word. You know I'm a vengeful type. Pound pens. Oh, yeah, that thing. Well, I'm just gonna go on a pilgrimage then. Let's save up my money for this. Going to Varanasi, haven't been there yet. That one's the holiest of holies of the Hindu holy sites, I believe, is it not? Or is that the temples in Aryodha? I don't know, one of you people gotta remind me. Or even Mathura, the birthplace of Krishna. Sri Krishna. But, going to Varanasi, maybe for some purification. As I prepare for my journey, I know that I will travel safely under the protection of the gods. All I go to spin on my realm must wait. However, long I may be gone. It is time to depart. Oh. That's the only. Taxation will be going up a bit. Along my, among my fellow programs, there's a woman who preaches compassion and fellowship. Until she ch reaches the topic of heathens, one evening around the campfire, she loudly declares them to be abominable monsters in the eyes of the gods. Deviants, child murderers all. Most people work their eyes when she looks at them. Tonight I was not quick enough. Well, of course not. I'm a lumbering giant. <laughs> Any move I make, everyone's going to turn heads. Do you not agree, O Samarajni? I'll just say they're not all bad. Because I know we have Jains and Buddhists living in the realm. And plus taxation slightly increases from the Jains and Buddhists that live here. And they still start looking at me a bit more positively. Especially you. I'm finally here, body and soul, at the great temple of Varanasi. As the Swami offers me blessings, I reflect on everything that has to happen, that had to happen, for the gods to bring me here at this moment in time. I have walked the holy path. I became a pilgrim. And a wise woman, too. So now I'm technically virtuous in the eyes of the gods. A vassal of the kingdom of Gujarat wishes to be an ally. Okay, he needed some defense negotiations. What's your strength? <laughs> it's all first. Sure. You needed help? I can help you. And also, we do have a presence in Gujarat. So there you go, Vaishnavites like me a little bit more. Because I'm seen as virtuous due to me being a wise woman now. There's no woman lovelier than Ambikavai. In her presence, my words often failed me. None of my conflicts will ever do her justice. Perhaps a carefully dressed woman better capture her virtues. Alright, about her. Oh, now she's a guest. He's visiting. Not sure. I'll just say you full vigor. She doesn't respond. Not good. 
would prefer someone better. That's only if the person has a highly positive view to be my Maharaj Buddha. Oh, I know, perhaps my decision. Which I don't have one, which we'll get one once we reach 200. You know they're a bit expensive to get them. For starters, before we start fighting against them, to, you know, seize the titles bit by bit. And you know, there isn't really much of them. I guess you can start that right now. Oh, and hold a mystical communion. And go look for a precision. While we start this thing. My first combat. Starting with there. Just to reconnect the rest of the lands. Not worry too much about them. Just two of them, that's that. Advantage of 35. Best one out of all, so I will definitely be leading troops often. Very nice style. Divine guidance for five years. Plus one march, plus one learning. Less stress gain, more stress loss. Thank you very much. World's full of dangers, even through Samrajni and her court. As per my request, my servants have inquired after recommendations. Now they have assembled a few options to choose from. 19, 8, 15, Quite experienced. Yeah, I'm willing to spend nearly all the money. We'll get all the money through the loot anyhow. We'll bring this down fast before you could say, well, anything for that matter. 60%. Maybe the opinion increased further because now I'm virtuous. Thanks to that pilgrimage. So I have to take this, and then that, and then bye-bye then. My culture has discovered household soldiers. We can further increase the size of men-at-arms regiments. After my army sets up camp, even though we've been here for a while. I hear a commotion coming from my Shubir's lodgings. Investigating the terms, I find Raja Tanapa and Ataka Harirao in the middle of a heated argument with Saran Mukher's hegemon. Ah, great. The diplomat and the albino wise man and holy warriors having an argument. Oh, it's a 50 50 shot, so I will deliver a speech about unity to the crowd. Resolution. I get up and deliver a speech about how we're all fighting for the Saruna Yadava Empire and how we must stand united against our foes. For if we don't, there are many outsiders who would take advantage of our internal scrolls to seize our lands and impose their rule on us. Look at the best. Turn up uh, and how did I apologize and get rid of this cell for me. We are stronger when we stand together. Good start. That's the Raja himself. The Raja of Magad. You know what? <laughs> I was thinking about, I'll just station the besiegers, you know, leave enough soldiers in the army to continue the siege. That's one thing, but knowing that I have a massive advantage. And, oh, this is mountains, but it's our mountains. 
for the time being. Yep, we're doing it. Just like Dahara Sana the first who innovated this practice. But now I would love to be a part of this, even though I have no combat and no uh, no uh, commander traits. There you go. And some of these wars are veterans. Even though one day we will get more um, we will get more. Word. They're failing me at the moment. You take over. You're the siege master. I'm going in. We're going in. in any of them, huh? Hang on a sec. Let me see. That, I'm just curious. Don't even think about it. I gotta take over this other area quickly. At least we got some loot just to keep the war going. Let's hope we replicate the success of uh, Dahara Sena. Every time I close my eyes, I see on Baker's face. Sleep will not come. I cannot wait another moment. Poke in the shells and make my way to the Krogovind Palace Castle. The sight of Avika's chamber window makes my heart stutter. So close yet so far. Wait, who is that? Climb of the tower. The shady figure stops by the window and then matches the shutters. It's 60% chance, so my pet's in danger. I have to save her. It's a must. I'm about to begin combat in a few days. The silence on the struggle above is the greatest motive I've ever known. Without terror, life, or limb, I hoist myself at the window. I feel as if I plunge into a frozen lake. She's on the floor, the intruder is pushing her down, a gleaming blade between them with a roar. I grab the villain by the collar and throw her in the wall. The rest is a blur. I could do that. I'm a giant, you know? When the danger is over, I turn towards her. I think, are you alright? I ask costly as if I were to wear a spell. She finally unfreezes and throws up I think Vish knew you are here, Cyborg. Give me a moment. Is there anyone else around my age? Just curious. Any guys or you? Know, Or at least, uh... Pick it, you pick it up when you're uh, around that age. So. In case so, that way when somebody throws it. Buddhist. Oh, okay, a bad person. I think I found my true love. Even though she's going to get married, but um, she's not really into like him. Even though she's a giant. Continue. When's your birthday, by the way? Next Go on. One sweet kiss is the only reward I crave. Thanks for the fame. Now here comes some more fame for the battle. July 9th, remember that. A fellow giant who's also into. Him. 
you know, unfortunately she's going to be a bit slow. This reminds me as this battle will be going. How much we want to take the kill, kill this bastard? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who came up with such an idea. One. Anybody willing? Well, we don't have the money. They'll be willing if I have the money. Which I don't. Who would have thunk it? Okay, I got it. Um, hang on, hang on. Uh, one, support schemes which would improve the chances a little. And two, once you arrive in this area, leave the besieging forces there. Because wherever they are, they're going to have a hard time to come down here. Unless we get him in this very battle. Doing very well. Especially that the horsemen are fighting a bad terrain. Capture the Raja. We got him. This little battle up in uh, Barasuru. So Ashovia um, of Skandavarman Roy was maimed, unfortunately. This man is near death unless he has money in him, which he's unimportant. We can put him out of his misery if we wanted to. But I'd be spending piety to do that. Uh, that's an amber alert. Don't mind that alarm. But I would gain a little bit of dread. So. Wow. Why spend it piety? I mean, what's good to have piety for? I'm not a holy warrior. We're mainly fighting against, well, other Hindus along with an occasional Jain or Buddhist. So, for him that's near death, just kill him anyway. Oh, by the way, he's a fellow uh, Vaishnava. So. And a giant too, but does he really need to be dead? Does he really need to be? Which, <laughs> screw it. So, you can say, yes, he's dead right now. Well, we captured him, but... I'm just examining him. I'm not going to kill him. Don't even think about that. So, you can say, kind of our man, I uh, avenged you. For what they did to your face. Next time, this. Our chauvires will one day be great warriors. Oh, uh, and who wants um, this area? It's part of Telangana. It's Telangana. Even though the area is not created yet. The Raj of Warangal. Which... Our neighbor, he's no longer Mugget, he's Warrenville. If this were to make you any happy, you know you're a giant. Oh, great. Just became a drunkard recently. I know you got issues with me. What if I just give you this sign while I keep Vingaporta for myself? Even though you're still going to be mad at me forever because you want Vingaporta back. Which I'm never going to give it to you because it's where the diamond mines are. I mean, at least give it to you. I mean, you have some degree of autonomy.
least we got one agent in. Intimidated. What's so intimidating about him? Callus, I see. Digital war for uh, Mahadavaska. Stop right here. I'll do anything for fame. You're the one that started the attack. You're going to be spending your fame for it. Big mistake for you. What's your... What's the situation like? He's got friends and mercenaries. And we're right next door, so... You're going to have to wait. I will be willing to send troops... Well, they're all over there. Oh, no, no. The Shoviers won't do the job. <laughs> maybe, maybe I just send only my Shoviers and just pick them off bit by bit while we wait. No, no, no. Be wise. Save your money. Because I have other desires. Yes, Shantala Devi. Who's another... Giant and always like so, just like me. Even though she's rather gluttonous, just a bit curious, and she's gonna be into diplomacy. Okay, just turned 16. Did he? No, he's been 16. You go. People are joining. How much? Fair enough. There'll be no one to stop us this time. We'll help you out in a moment. Just let me raise at least 100 gold. And then we'll go. Surprised there's not a single faction formed against me. I guess it's a much stable realm than we earlier imagined. What? Did he left the realm? He's unlanded in, in Gaia. He went somewhere. Shoot! Well, at least he's out traveling unprotected and alone. Well, hopefully he gets to spend more time with you. Anyways. Uh, that's not good. need to get that group out of the way because nobody can have it in me. <laughs> They're giving chase, so we'll help them. Keep going down this way. Meet up down here. Oh no, they've been caught. Bring all forces. Don't let him get captured. No, oh, no, he's not leading the army. He's he's all right. He's, he's just going to be in his capital. As I said before, I'll do anything for fame. They want this objective. Even though we made a bad starting point. You lost your land? Well... No, no, no. He lost this land. Sorry, would you like to come? I'd love to have you as my guest. Well, more money for me. Meanwhile, do you like me, Wilma? Patient just like Fickle, just just like Fickle. Fickle, Fickle, Fickle. Seducing, maybe. So, what's wrong? Yeah. 
So it's like, I can understand the fickle part, but why not romance? Rank is higher, yes. Okay, let me see. 15 plus 15 is 30. That's even. It may sound stupid, but opinions can change, you know? Yeah, what if I just, you know, sway her a little, then... Look, you pulled it off once, and I think I could do it again. Alright. Plus, you may never know you get to do this thing again that'll help you get the entry um, perk. So. Fellow giant. <laughs> Let's, let me sing your love ballad. I found a classic Kanata love ballad which suits Shantala Devi perfectly. I practice it over and over. Everything must be perfect. I find my fellow walking in the Doody Garden, surrounded by her friends, with my heart beating like a hammer. I kneel before her and sing. Her cheeks turn to a deep pomegranate red, but she does not interrupt me. Her companions all look pleased or jealous. Surely a good sign. You have a beautiful voice, my lady, Shantala Devi, says before she hurries off. Her friends are quick to follow. I stand up on shaking legs, so I watch this group team. I have just my heart beating harder than ever. She won't resist my charm so long. She's got no friends. What are they talking about? Well, meanwhile, we're going to try to assassinate this deadbeat who isn't even here anymore. Who's not even landed. Hey! This is what they mean by that. We can usurp the Raj and make it easier. I'll do anything for money. Uh, anyways. We can usurp it if you've got the money for it, but now I'd rather conquer it. This area, where is it from? All the hell way over there. Yes, there's a major difference. We can just fight this little war, hold it down, and then, uh, well, you've got an ally. Huh. So I'll tell you what, so we have to split our forces. To, well, actually, no. Both. Send a besieging army, that's station over there, send the rest over there. Well, I don't know, because the fort level is low, and you know how expensive boat travel can be. Especially to the land of Burma, which we never ever been there before. Or you know anything about it. So the key to romance is well. Well, if I stall longer, he's gonna find out. So, bon appetit, Irajaditya. I remember how to pronounce it. That bird became the last thing he ever ate. Even better, his death throes. A bone got stuck in his throat. That's unclear what exactly killed him at all. It must have meant something he ate. Now you're all mine. At least for now. So yeah, despite the fact that I can be a fickle person, but to me you're nicer. Fighting Andra would just be just as easy, so... Plus they do have one ally. And that's way over there, which isn't even much in the way of anything, so. We can't get the whole thing, but we'll pick it apart bit by bit. Better question is, which one's the more developed one? I can hold one more domain, I'll hold it. 
15, 15, 13. Either or, preferably the coast. Palaka. For more fame. Maybe we should perhaps increase the size of the Rondos once we require Well, actually, we can make it happen just after. Thank God that old woman. Thank God that old woman is gone. You'll do fine. If you weren't so paranoid and shy about it. As long as it keeps the country together. And once I take personal control of this area. Can we recruit you? Because you look average. You'll be sure here for this. Reduces the risk of commanding armies. Prowess increased. There's no need for this. Just go through there. Raja is there. Shabiz, come with me. Bring out the deadly dozen because there's 12 Shabiz. And we'll soon get more better ones in the future. I mean, we do have a few good fighters, but. Clearly, we can recruit some more. One second. I know who I'm gonna let him take over. I got the siege mess. Going in. Forest defensive buildings will probably win. Seems a little precarious. Slow down. We may have to send the men at arms. This keeps up. We've already taken out most of them. Maybe two, maybe three. We've named the Roger. We got him. We've taken the objective. Move on. Probably gonna head somewhere more neutral. No. I suspect this one. Or fight him here. We have battlements now. Which I believe that... That yes, we can build a keep here. Preferably, I now I just remembered, we're supposed to build a keep here in order to improve this diamond mine. To go from a mining pit to a, a mine for even more tax collection. That's where most of our economy comes from. So it says, anyhow. Here we come again. No defensive buildings here. We got the Raja. I 
and capture the Maharaja. They're likely gonna come from over there. Forgot to switch for innovation. Okay. There's culture exposure for bailiffs. I remember Kandaya. That's what we need. Knowing that we're such an expansionist and knowing the areas we're going to is mostly jungle, then, um, then I figure we need armored footmen that specialized in jungle fighting. Stand by. You know how to fight in the jungle. Take over. You know this is technically forest. You know what we mean. This is the reason why I had to take off tonight, so I can get back to romancing Chantala Devi, which she's wearing armor. She's a Shuvian. Anyways, there's no woman lovelier than Chantala Devi. In her presence, my words aren't feeling. None of my confidence will do her just perhaps a carefully dressed woman better capture her virtues. Alright, about her. I'll just say kind of hard feeling, because she's just... Your old face is what gives meaning to my life. I have no other desire but to hear your voice again, that I may uh, know the touch of the divine, you and me, together forever. She must have liked my poem, so she's charmed. Yay! So it's a 50-50 shot now, so I would prefer a little more. Should I give that one a try? Once this war is over, we're definitely inviting more Shuvius. Out. Oh, I'm about to go in anyway. It's another Raja. That'll be it. Just what we need. And you're going to need some control because there is none of them. Crown smithies. I know the rod is not held by me, but this is what the men at arms maintenance reduced. If it were further improved upon, that's actually good. If you're into heavy infantry and spearmen, which I do have spearmen, and we're interested in the Kanda yachts, which is heavy infantry. I'll tell you what. There's this other duchy that we often held, Nasakir, which is in both Nasakir and Kondana. Perhaps we should create another duchy building. If I were to wish to create that duchy title, but you know the partition of what it can do to you. So we got Udayagiri. How effective can you bring it back to full control? Moment. Five years. You'll do very well. I'm calling for Shuvias. Where are you from? Kandras Raj. Vassal in the Kingdom of Bengal. I'm sure you guys have ambitions. Sorry for your loss, but we'll accept it. Oh, a 
right to me. And Busto. There's still time. There's some scheme resistance because of Chaos. Here's the notion. Sweet Lady Shadala Devi. I sigh as I kneel before. My only desire is to bring you honor and happiness. Pray tell me, how can I prove my love for you? Shantala Devi gives me a long look. Lady Portal's necklace is lovely. Oh, she says and nods in the direction of the vassal Rani Portal. It would look good, even better around my neck. I'm going to take advantage of pregnant one. Get a weak hook on me. She's my direct vassal. Not wise. Reduce taxes. I could steal it. So, yeah. Steal it. Title. Huh. Whatever that is. So, anyways. Yeah, we got it. Got you that necklace. can hold a feast if we wish to. Seems they're more expensive and imperial sized feast these days. Today I'm observing Don Fate Haribrao as he trains some of his new levies, but the recruits under his command resemble a disorganized mob more than on. I look on as he struggles to gain control of the situation, clearly pushed to his limits. While it's never easy to train new soldiers, he seriously knew that enemies. Teach you what I know about command. And at the same time, as Samrajni, I've been obliged to attend a local sparring tournament, but the contestants have been delayed. The tournament won't start for at least another hour. Looking around, I noticed my friend Nar Narendra Sinha sitting under a nearby pavilion, clearly bored halfway to death. On the other hand, I just noticed a merchant dropping off a cart of premium teas. Waste enough time on a disaster. I can reduce stress just fine. A vice rejected. As I tap uh, hard around the shoulders, he throws hands up and shouts, This is not my fault, Saibai. These idiotic peasants don't know their right hand from the left. How can anyone be expected to turn this rabble to an army? Oh, I'm disappointed in you. Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot about your gun. Now we can hold that beast that we proposed. This will definitely make the vassals happier and, uh, the god dang, uh, stress go away entirely. The guests are gathered in the great hall. Lords and ladies from the far reaches of Rome. The mood is bright. The spirit's highest the feast begins. Welcome, friends. These people who did not come, Twenty Mara Simon Junraj, of course, the Dhammapati, and Dhamma, as in two mares. Okay. Even some people who had issues with me. Shantala Devi's here. Oh, really? Yay. What started as an ordinary feast became an exceptional one thanks to the presence of uh, Rani and uh, Matu. Ah, no guy. You spoke all of me about all manner of subjects and those things I've never seen in a long time. You had such a good time. Huh? What a good evening. Tastefully insulting. As plate after plate of food is brought into the great hall, an unmistakable smell reaches me, and I smell. That useless vassal Rani Patel is sensitive to a lemon. So it's something sad they forgot to tell the cook. I bid you all welcome, and I pray you will find food to your liking. Mm -hmm. 
I get a weak hook on her. She's my direct vessel, is she not? No, he's the real. Actually, she's, she's landed. Her face says I save the food is deadly to my liking. I'll get a bit of prestige, I'll get a weak hook on her, but it's not good because I'm a vengeful type. You ain't gonna like this. Well, actually... Wondering who's, you, you know, who's who in the family here? Look it up, you dummy. She's there, I don't know what That man's of my number. And, uh, Alexandra is separate dynasty. All right, that's from the previous marriage. Okay. I got it. Just, just increase it anyway. It's a good bit. I could give her something in return while making it look like too many. And you, do, and you can declare whatever war you want. So you don't need that hope. But so yes, you can declare whatever war you wish to within the realm. Because look at all these claims you got. You can make it happen. Now what am I gonna, really going to do with that hook? I would much prefer that you would convert to... It won't work. Hates me too much. Ah, who knows anymore? It's a waste of time, anyhow. You're in. Not the new ruler yet. Anyways, with everyone out for their respective homes, I'm proud to say that the beast was a success. Nevertheless, I'm still grateful that the endeavor is over. Don't feast too much, because once I become an eager reveler, Hindus enjoy it, but the Jains and the Buddhists um, will not like me for that type of lifestyle. As for you, Darharasena, I suggest you ought to get married right now. I mean, there's no faction that threatens um, the Deccan Empire, so it has to be somewhere that we could at least make one alliance with, even though we can hold our own. Likely be Gujarat. I mean, they've lost a few degrees, man. And they're still going to be losing it. Or just, uh, with you being intelligent, I think you would just have to marry somebody for... Some of all skills, like you should marry another genius. I mean, it's good to have more intelligent children, or or have some beautiful and smart children. I mean, you never know. This is gonna hurt you, but hey, whatever works. Well, I'm not interested in marriage just yet. Ask me again in eight years or so. So yes, I plan on getting married around the late twenties. So, by the Tirthankaras, uh, Chantal is an insufferable doxy. Have you seen how she chews loudly on a biscuit? Ridiculous. You know, Jains don't eat meat, right? Anyways, Dawapati Ven Venkatapati. Uh, of uh, Kanata Bulu. Uh, throws his head back with a wicked laugh. She is still conversing with friends. Um, but I could tell she hurt him, and I hate to see her hurt. Well, this man knows how to fight. He's sick. Well, 
foul lies. Draw your sword, knave. How dare you insult her accusing. She was lovely on a biscuit. How do you know that she eats a biscuit? I am defeated by him. I'm wounded, but she likes me a bit more. Just, just for out of pity. I was briefly wounded. So it was, it's a scratch. Bastard. Slightly nervous that that I don't know if I'm really gonna have her. Would love to invite her to court, even though she's the religious Shulia. When Chantala Devi's leech um, Raja Boka invited me to a hunt, I did not hesitate to accept. I'll do anything for the mere glimpse of my treasure. I'm stalking through the underbrush, my cage at my heel, and my hound just ahead. It seems that I've found a trail. But suddenly my concentration is shattered by a woman's scream. I'm coming for you, my love. Oh, within what must have been a minute felt like an hour. Reach a clearing. Chantala Devi's on the ground before me. Disheveled and weaponless. Officer just about to strike stands a huge bear. My arrow strikes true and the beast falls to the ground. For a moment, all Chantala Devi can do is stare. And then she stumbles and towards me and throws herself into my arms. I need you, my love, right here, right now. You're gonna be my soulmate. You're the one that I've been looking for. Fellow giant, which we think alike. Despite the fact your gluttonous, which is rather sinful to you giants. But in Hinduism, doesn't matter. <sighs> Yay, my soulmate. Come to court and you can bring your, uh, Friends along. Oh, that's actually your parents. Um, is your mother or father a, a giant? Oh, she's the giant. That's where you get it from. Okay. Well, what about your brother? Wheezing. Yeah, your little brother. Little brother. <laughs> Heck of a family that we'd be inviting. Come on in. Now we got some good fighters here. Some could have been more better than others. But you just wait till more level of fame come up when we fight more wars and well it's kind of hard to romance another woman now because she's my soulmate plus um even though you're a giant but ultimately you're not cut out to be a, a warrior type so how would you like to worship the same gods as we do? So she's a Hindu now, no longer a giant. Now you can all, now you can eat all the biscuits you want. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Increased night effectiveness. They'll definitely fight more better now, especially more so in the future. And perhaps once I get this, I should briefly switch, because I not only want my giant soulmate to be, well, my soulmate, she should also be my friend. My cousin was slain. Well, there, well she's a giant. So it's already, we already know who's who these days. Hundred! Hundred! Oh boy, let's go hunting! I just lit up like the knights or something. Now. No 
always when the others have faded away by the time Vasudama Patani Karna Devi and I stock up on the bear. But we were almost within striking distance um, when Karna Devi was supposed to now that we're finally by ourselves to setting up um sorry to let you know about Maharani Sobi Devi. Yes, she's my spy master. No time for chit chat. I'm getting that bear. We're doing it for pain. Yep, got the bear and other games. Remember, send one force to besiege this area, and the other, uh. I mean, assassination is a good alternative, but no, I would much prefer war. He's a new dynasty. Cadet branch. Um, so we send besieging force to take this over while we send our main forces to there and take two, no, three fortified areas. I mean, that's what it looks like anyhow. It's going to be quite a conflict. So station in Nolo. Send here. Yeah, we got it. Shouldn't take long. Seize the Thikana of Vanavasi. And then whoever wants it will get it. And they'll be happy about it. Okay, we'll figure it out um, from here. Force, there'll be more forces, so split up. Um, how do we do this? Is it possible to... No, no, no. Well, one of you is going to go with the other. only just one holding and that's it. Maybe we should wait for them to come. Okay, here's what we're going to do. All the men at arms and all the chauviers must go to my army because of course And it's only just going to be the levies and the siege weaponry is the one that's going to take that territory, which will be a little faster. It's to join my army. Got it. And the rest get together and go take over this area. We'll just be waiting along the coast. Heck, they could be anywhere at this point. Actually, stand back here. This is better supplied. That's where we came from, anyhow. Wait for them to take the area, then we'll go... Well, this army, anyway. This is for fighting. This is for besieging. Oh, and don't forget... Oh my god, Olja. He knows the way. It's been infested in fortifications. Of course they would. Let's go. It's the Raja himself. Do we order them to? Well, kind of close. Okay, once you land, don't attack. Despite the numerical advantage and the men at arms. Well, it's not much of a numerical advantage. And plus, they got terrible fighters. Now we 
recently disembarked, but you're in our backyard. More reinforcements are here. Illustrious now. He's a landed character. Free him. By free, I mean ransom the bastard. This man, nah. No. Unavorned. Thank goodness this is farmland since we can resupply here. New war. Kamala Devi. Um, for Navsarika. Navsarika. Well, my vassal did it. Uh, how many are there? That's up to the Shuviers to take care of them. Look at the numbers. We can kick them out of there. They come from, uh, the Vrak. Should we split them up? I mean, the effectiveness of the Soviets have increased considerably. They can take care of the rest. Let's do it. It's something that my forefathers would have done. It's like, how do we handle this defensive situation? Just call the Soviets. There'll be more. Heck, once you meet up over there, there'll be one more Shovier ready to join you. Because the level of fame increased, you see. So meet up here. Well, actually... Whatever's faster, huh? Just to be safe, land here. Once you're there, the Shovier will be ready to meet you. Go attack over them. Take their capital. We'll just be on a lookout. No! Yes! What the... Are you... Crazy? Sometimes I forget who's in command in, in these armies. There's your problem. There's a river there. Contribution to the war chest. As I look in fear at my almost empty coffers, not really, my herald announces that for my vassal run, we come bearing gold, my liege. A donation to defeat our enemies, Raja Tanapa announces. With me, I bring the noble lady, um, Rai Sohaladevi, and a venerable Namapati Hadiara. And a gracious Dhammapatni Karnadevi. We only ask you to lead us to victory. Who's ten opinion? You know, it's a small price to pay that I'll take. Gold, you say? Guards seize all of it, so that's two hundred. They're back again. Yeah, Bhagapati will be taking care of them. He's the jungle stoker. Just barely past Lanka. Don't 
forget about the cape and the diamond mine. My forces have uh, captured the objective. About to say what? Where's not uh, winning the battle? Oh yeah, I thought <sighs> get confused. But then again, uh, stop the ship. Turn around. We have a new task. Turn this ship around. We are heading to Tavarka. And begin your march this way. Told you. Get a weak hook. So there you have it. Sure you're all happier now. Except not pay up those taxes. Sucker. Two months left. CG looking good. Okay. Danny Danielle, yeah, I remember you. We need just one more guy to come with us. We can take care of them. And I wish I have commander traits. Everything's going to be coming to plan. Twenty-nine days left. They've taken the objective. Serious jungle, hold here. This is going to be our turf. We beat him to it. So we definitely have the advantage. Five months, never back down. They may have taken the objective, but we're going to be taking their capital, while the army will be heading to Nafsark. Take this area back. A lot of lands, though. But here in uh, the city of Nafsark. This is where we hold them. They're going to be bringing in horsemen. Which I don't think they'll do well in jungles. But they have skirmishers, which they are effective a bit more in jungles. And who are these guys with these? The best one, Nest. Very well. Let us begin. <laughs> Hopefully we can definitely hold out. Even though the guy's more of a desert fighter, as I can see his command trait. We did it without a single human loss. Which is rather obvious. Oh, who got him? Slain in battle by Bolja. Who is our, you know, he's a siege master. And a gallant warrior too at, at the booth. Well done. Head up this way. After this conflict, we'll end the episode. Because in the next episode, Warangal will be ours again. Take another piece of Andra. Oh, they went up that way. And that's their other piece of territory that we tend to forget. 
In one day, we gotta subjugate somewhere. There's the Thakurani. Get him here. Captured Nest. Use their one of their best. But I figured we need someone like you in our ranks. Huh? You'll be one of the decent fighters around. For us, that we capture that we have to examine these prisons. Him. These two are uh, not interesting. Only because we're vice novice, we're not allowed to have women in the army. We don't do that. I'm the exception because I'm the ruler. And I'm a giant, so who are you to question? Yes, watch your step now. Plus he's intimidated, so he's not gonna oppose me. Almost there. Never back down. Another year's time or more, then we'll become. We'll have King's God, and we'll definitely have more of the. Uh, Yes, that's enough. Gets a weak hook on on uh, Kamala Devi, and we'll pay eighty-seven gold a week. So there you have it. <laughs> I mean, we already have thirteen Soviets, and now we're gonna have more. In the future, even though this would also include the not so good fighters, I'll let you in because you know I could use you. Knowing that we'll have more, more to come, and since we keep expanding, so increase the siege uh, weapon size, the size of the regiment, because we have a habit of expanding more and more. Oh no! Realize that this man's the heir because that's the son! Three kingdoms he gets to hold. Rajputana claim on this kingdom. The, the North Indian situation is complex to me. I mean, we're solving this problem here in the South. But we'll be fighting against them soon. Which the truce will not expire. Until, um... God dang it. Fought so much in a few years' time. Incompetent goats. So, one thing's for certain in the next episode. I'm happy that I have a, a, a fellow uh, giant as my soulmate, even though she's not going to do much of anything other than just be my soulmate. Stay with me. Because you, one day, you'll be a good friend of mine, too. And also in the next episode, in a few years' time, I will also get married. This is why I skipped a couple of years, because I don't want to have too many children. And, uh, and hopefully have some genius children. But if I need to marry somebody, it has to be either someone smart, someone beautiful, someone strong. Any of these. I'm not interested in alliances because we've proven that we can definitely hold our own without an alliance with anyone. 
I mean, don't mind that little thing. It's just they wanted it because they negotiated defensive negotiation, which is fine by me. Boy, those Rajputs are making a situation out of Paris. Especially with the North Indian situation. Or perhaps just pick on weaker countries and just... Well, here's another we can do. Except she isn't going to be around for long and such. So that's a no-no. We'll have to start looking for other possibilities to expand. I mean, hell, you can look at them here. So we'll know what we'll do next on the next episode. But until then, so long for now.